Thank you. Thank you. Most of you recognize that this instrument is a saxophone. And many of you recognize that tune as Take Five by Paul Desmond. But what probably you didn't notice is the fact that I play my saxophone in a very unusual way. I play my saxophone with only one hand. Saxophones, and for that matter, all commercially available musical instruments, are designed to be played with two able-bodied facile hands. But the thing of it is, I don't have two good hands. 17 years ago, I had a stroke that paralyzed the left side of my body. I had no movement in my leg, the left side of my abdomen, my left arm was paralyzed, my left hand had no movement, the left side of my neck was paralyzed, the left side of my face was paralyzed, even the left side of my tongue was paralyzed. Since at the time of my stroke, I was already a professional musician and assistant professor of music at the University of Nebraska at Kearney, my health created some real problems for me. So in an effort for me to return to work, teaching and performing on the saxophone, I worked together with Jeff Stelling of Stelling Brass and Winds to develop this instrument that I just played for you with one hand. I'm now working to make more instruments like mine available to persons with disabilities. To a person with a disability, an instrument like this represents an opportunity for undifferentiated participation in music. When I say undifferentiated participation in music, what I mean is that with a well-designed musical instrument, a person with a disability can make music with the same facility, with the same fluency, indeed with as much artistic integrity as an able-bodied person playing a conventional musical instrument. Let's consider the implications of an instrument that, like this just a bit further. When I played my saxophone for you a moment ago, you saw me as a saxophone player. Nothing more, nothing less. That is the potential of an adapted musical instrument. Because of because this instrument, because of this instrument, uh, my disability disappeared. This instrument in my hands enabled the, my transformation from what had been a person with a disability to lose the with a disability and return to being simply a person once again. That's a very powerful change. That is the power of an adapted musical instrument, and that's what undifferentiated participation in music is all about. In the years since my stroke, I faced a battle which has been emotionally painful and deeply personal. For a time, I could not feed myself or even walk seven steps to get to the bathroom. And yet the whole time, I knew that I was still the same human being in, deep inside in my heart, deep in my bones, I had the same aspirations, I had the same ambitions, I had the same hopes and fears, and I still had the same desire to make music as before my stroke. Until that point, my whole life had played itself out in the medium of the musical world. Music is how I made my living. Music was how I recreated. It's what I did for fun with my friends. Music is how I celebrated religious holidays, Christmas, Easter, Lent, national holidays, 4th of July, or Memorial Day, it didn't matter, there was music happening. Music is how I met my wife. Music is what I did with my children when I got home from work in the evening. So much so that my personal identity was very tightly enmeshed in the musical world. So that when for quite some time it looked as if I would never make music again, I had the feeling that the universe were trying to erase my life's work like the universe were trying to erase my past, my present, and my future. The universe were trying to erase my personal identity from existence. No, you're not a musician. No, you never were a musician. And no, by golly, you're never going to be a musician in the future. My whole life, the musical world has been my home. It's the residence that I return to after I go off and do other things. So when this extraordinary instrument came into life, into my life, it became for me a sword that I used to fight my way back home, to reclaim a vital part of my life that I felt had been so unfairly taken away from me. Maybe I overdosed on Harry Potter a couple years ago, but, <laughs> but I honestly feel that musical instruments like these are ma musical instruments like these are magical creatures with the power to transform human lives. 
I simply don't have the words to express the joy and redemption this instrument has brought into my life. And since I ran out of words and I still have a couple minutes, I'll play my saxophone for you once again. <laughs> this time... <laughs> this time, you, may, you can probably more easily note how I manage all the note changes that on a conventional saxophone are done with ten fingers, I do with only my right hand on this extraordinary instrument designed and built by Jeff Stelling. This is music by Victor Morosco. It's his piece titled Blue Caprice. Thank you. 